Government, in partnership with various peace-building stakeholders, have begun a psychosocial program to rehabilitate hundreds of women in the troubled Kerio Valley who have been widowed following persistent conflicts in the area. Those who have been disinherited will also get legal aid support at no cost. In the troubled Kerio Valley, women bear the scars of conflict. Their husbands killed by the bandit's bullet. These widows of conflict have now been left with only fond memories of their spouses. The government, in partnership with local peace stakeholders, has begun a psychosocial program. In most instances, widows are being disinherited. When the demarcation is happening, where there was a widow living on that land, then it is uh, registered in someone else's name and the woman and her children are le left landless. So these are issues that we are picking out and working with various agencies, including the Ministry of Land and County Government. And we also have uh, issues like cultural and structural violence, and this we see uh, especially against the women and the girls. And uh, now with COVID, we've seen cases rising of um, cultural and structural violence against uh, women and girls. Over 200 widows drawn from Trukana, Pukot and Elgeo Marakwet counties have been drafted. Purity Musel, The Legends Edition.